Hi, my name is Kimberly McCabe, and I'm an attorney with Cordell & Cordell here in the Indianapolis, Indiana office. Today I wanted to speak with you about the hazards of using social media or texting or sending emails when you're going through a divorce. With the current state of affairs, you can generally presume that anything that you post online, any text that you send or any email that you send to your spouse or to the other parent could be used as evidence against you at a hearing later on down the road. So as a word of warning, before you tweet, before you post, before you hit send, double check that message and make sure it is something you would feel comfortable defending and or letting the judge see in a court of law. On another point, your attorney might tell you that it's important to document all communications with the other parent. However, if you are doing this, you must be very careful about what you are saying in those emails and text messages and that you are not sending any messages when you are angry or sad or frustrated because those messages could again be used as evidence against you later on. When you are communicating with your spouse during a divorce proceeding or a custody proceeding or a paternity proceeding for that matter, you will want to make sure that you are communicating about matters relating to the child, that you are not including any language that could be considered harassing, offensive, or uh, blatant disregard for any respect for the other parent. You will want to make sure that you are keeping it short and simple and that you are communicating again on matters related to the child. If in doubt, don't hit send. Sleep on it for a night. If it's not a communication that has to get sent out right at that moment, don't send it. Think twice about it. And if still in doubt, and you want to express these feelings of anger or frustration, talk to your attorney. Your attorney might have a better way to communicate what the current problem is and your feelings of anger and frustration to opposing counsel without you getting in trouble for it. Thanks for watching this quick tip on the hazards of social media, text messaging, and emails in a divorce.